two, three. <coughs> Four, five, six. Five, six. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, hi everybody, and welcome back to Our Groovy Life. So tonight, this afternoon, this morning, whatever it is where this you day. live, this day, we're trying three just kind of mishmash chips. They're kind of left over from some other groupings that we were doing. But it is still kind of a grouping because they are all habanero based in some way. So, we're going to be trying Creamy Ranch and Habanero from HERS. Great chip company. Looking forward to those. The Deep River Snack Company made these mango habanero kettle chips. I bet you those are going to be great I've never also. heard of that company before. Well, Deep River does a lot of chips. They're from out east. Well, and uh, some of their stuff that they do exclusively, strangely enough, they do exclusively to sell at uh, TJ Maxx, which is weird that they make chips specifically for TJ Maxx. I believe this might actually be one of those, um, but should be a great chip. And then it was left over, but it fit exactly <laughs> right, even though it's Lay's. Nothing wrong with Lay's, but everybody knows Lay's is their fiery habanero. So three different habanero chips tonight this afternoon, again, depending on where you're from. So we're going to try them all and see what we think between them. I'm going to try the herbs first because I like hers. And it always reminds me of uh, The Office when Jim was trying to find hers chips for, for Karen. Karen. Oh, Karen. Karen. No, it was between Pam. Between Pam's. When he had to go to... When he had to leave Scranton. Mm -hmm. I like these ones. Yeah. Not bad. Mine are very mango. Yeah. That's why mango is in bigger letters mm -hmm. than habanero. Mango. Like that. That's the problem I've found with, because mango goes really well with habanero, the people tend to overdo the mango part, thinking that that habanero is too, too no, much of a flavor. Sweet. You want the habanero to be there, mango to just be a little bit, but people go overboard with the mango. All right, switch. The hers I hadn't mentioned anything about them. Those taste great. Oh, that's good. This they're very good. creamy. Oh, these are they're very creamy ranch. You can definitely taste the ranch, but they're like ranch with a kick. Mm -hmm. Almost like something you'd think you'd find at the Twisted Ranch restaurant, but actually kicked up a notch. They, they actually have some meat to them. These ones are spicy and good. Mmm, yeah. Crazy mangoey. Mm. I think they labeled them right. Mango habanero. Mango with a little bit of habanero. I like this one. Yeah, that one's really good. Mm. I don't get any habanero at all. They oversweetened it so you can't even taste the heat? They're really good chips. They're good uh, kettle chips. Did a really nice oh. job of cooking them. And if you want a... Uh, Mango chip. These are awesome. The Lay's ones are really good. Well, those are the only ones. The Lay's ones, I haven't tried those yet. They're the only ones that don't have anything else with them. Mm -hmm. They're just fiery habanero. Are those just, that's the normal Lay's you can get anywhere? That's a new flavor or what? I don't remember yeah, that I, one. Yeah, I think you can still buy those everywhere. I, I don't know if they were a limited time one or not, but. I, I don't so remember good. that one before. All right, switch. All right, switch. One more switch. So very mangoey. Wow. Mm -hmm. Super sweet. It's not as sweet. It's they're fruity. Mm. You know that trail mix that has the dry fruit in it? Mm -hmm. That's what these taste like. Oh wow, that's really it's mangoey. Fruity. Okay, Lay's. Lay's always makes good stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get two out. My mouth still has a ton of mango in it. I'm trying to taste the. I mean, if you are want something sweet and salty at the same time, like They're mango good. will mango will take care of that for you in one go. These are my favorite. Perfect. I was just gonna say that these are really really good. Deerbirds, I think we found those. 
Um, deer perch, maybe? Yeah. I think so. Does it? Hers branding is not as prevalent in our neck of the woods as they are in other places, I mm -hmm. think. So it's harder to find, but. Well, they're big, much bigger out east. But. This is so spicy and tastes really ranchy. Mm-hmm. That's your so favorite these are, one? Okay. These are really good. Oh, this deep, I'm just reading the bag over here. They give back, the Deep River people give back 10% of their profits to charities that help, that have personally affected them. Nice. Their Chris Klung Foundation. Huh. Oh. Because we give a chip. That's fun. That is fun. I like, I like that. that. Oh, I like that they don't. They're very they're really good, they're but they're really, really, really fruity. Again, if you want sweet and salty, because some days you're like, okay, I need to eat some chocolate, or I'm going to have a few ruffles or something like that, and you're like, oh, put them into one chip. I would, uh, these are not a chip, this bag that we would throw away. Oh, excuse me. Because they went bad. By any means, they're really, really good. Mm -hmm. They're just very mangly. So if I went, if I want to say, hey, you know what, I would really like to have a hot chip with my burger or something, it's not that one. You say, hey, I would just like to grab a handful of chips and snack on them. I'd grab this in a second. Maybe that would be enough of a snack then because you get enough mango that you'd be done with your tiny snack. Could be. That no, could be uh, a good way to do that. Not eat the whole bag. Don't eat the whole bag. <laughs> I really don't get any habanero from it at all. Mm -mm. Those are the only ones that are kind of spicy. I mean, I haven't eaten a lot of spicy food lately. These so. ones, these hers, mm -mm. have a little kick to them. I got. I only got ranch from that. Maybe because I followed. I started with Lay's. Yeah, that could be. These definitely have some heat to them. I think and if very you ranchy. just like what I was telling you with like those bugles that we tried. If you try them on their own, they're spicy. So maybe there is maybe a little bit of spice. If I don't start with the Lay's, which I think is actually spicy. These are exceptional. I would say. These are really good. Yeah. See, they even have pictures of habaneros on the front. They're proud of their having. They're exceptional. Those are again. worth find, finding again. We need to find more of those. They're really okay. good. Well, the other HERS products that we've gotten, been hers able to always track good down, we're good. We just don't have as many of them around here. HERS is always good stuff. Okay. Just like straight up chips, mm -hmm. like this off flavor, like, like their ruffles, are really good chips. Yeah, there's a kick to those now that I've sort of cleansed my palate. Now that you're all mangoey. Here, so you try one of these. Really tasty. And the ranch that's on them is a good ranch. Yeah. Whatever ranch powder they're using, or maybe they create it themselves, but it's a good ranch. Mm. I really like the style of these mm. kettle chips, though, too. Mm, tasty. Oh, those are good. Oh, yeah. Which one is this one? Do. That's the know. mango hopping. Yeah, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> mango. I would actually say after trying them now, I like it though. The the hers are spicier than the fiery habanero. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one's like still lingering on my tongue mm -hmm. right now. These they they have more habanero gold out of the way too. Yo, the hers is a really good product. They are there are there's definitely ranch, but then it's like a mm. cook in the pants. There's some yeah, the hers are great. Habanero. Okay, so for me, I think we probably all would be in unison on this one, but for me, the mm -hmm. hers. Oh, see. That's my my wife is going one. right now too, apparently. Like it. So the hers to me, the lays. Well, aren't the lays were good? This was my least favorite out of the three that yeah, we just tasted. Yeah, but I almost think that, and we tried them together because they say habanero, but this one is, this one's really not habanero. Well, we didn't get any other fruit chips, so that's no, the only so one that, that I had to it. go with. So out of going with habanero, this is the third favorite of them, right? But. Three, they're two, they're a great chip. They're a great chip anyway. Uh, they're just not habanero. -y, yeah. Oh, it's a, it was a really good chip. You well, just don't go for you, the habanero again, part if you on that eat one. Them, eat them all. by themselves. They might have a little bit more kick. But if you follow or start with one of those, you're only going to get yeah. the mango oh, from. Oh, they're good. I think both of these went after being habanero chips. Yeah. This one went after being mango, being a mango habanero chip. Really, again, very good chips, not to belabor the point, but very good chips, but these guys, hers people, if you're looking, I know all of these brands are always good brands, but these are exceptional. And creamy ranch and we is will, awesome. And uh, we'll search out even more of your stuff. So uh, go try them all, everybody, and let us know down below what you think.
Love to hear about it. Love to hear about uh, some of the other flavors from Deep River. I know that they make many others, so love to hear about it. So, once um. again, thanks for stopping by. We have some more chips and we have a whole bunch more food to try for you. And in the very near future, we're finally, as we promised you all several times, we're finally going to start getting into our almost 80 different buffalo wing sauces. Oh, we, got we, have, we got a lot of chicken. We got a lot of chicken in the future for you, so <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. For you. It's going to be fun. So, uh, again, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.